I've come to terms with the fact that my father is an absent father and he doesn't care about me and I'm okay. I, um, recently he just told me he's gotten his visa, he's relocating out of the country, he's going to the UK and that's it. That's it. That, that is my L, like, girl. I, have, I don't have you in mind. I have made my plans. I have left you here. Deal with you. Hi, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. Today we're talking about something very um, serious. We're talking about dealing with pain, rejection, and difficult life moments. And before I um, delve into this video, I would want to say life happens to everybody. You are not alone. Life happens to everybody, including me, including the happiest people you see on the internet. Life happens to everybody. So what prompted me to do this video was because I decided to... If people, of some of my friends just generally asked me how I deal with very difficult life moments. And I've been through a lot in my life, basically. I have lost my father. Not like Daido, he's living, but I have lost him in my life. I have been through rejections right from a, when i was a child till now and sometimes the way i just dust it off people wonder how i'm able to do it and i'm not saying it is because of my abilities or anything it is first because of god and then because of the things i was exposed to and yeah basically things i was exposed to and how i've been able to learn and outgrow these things one at a time so i'm going to be sharing um this moment with you and i want to tell you if you are in pain in any way form you're not alone and pain is a very serious thing and you need to pay attention to pain recently we had someone who nearly committed suicide because she was in so much pain and she couldn't voice that voice out her her pain and set herself ablaze this is somebody that is very close to me and it was so painful i was there when it happened and this happened yesterday and for me i was strong and the question was like how are you able to be strong through this and that's what even gingered me to make this video because you can be strong through these tough moments if you are equipped for it i'm not saying that times is not going to overwhelm you but even when it does you're equipped to be able to dust it off so my name is maria habila for some of you who are seeing my face for the very first time i'm a northern nigerian lifestyle vlogger i make videos about northern nigerian lifestyle relationship i sell kayamata i talk about kayamata and recently i'm into storage see i'm a hustler long and short period so how to deal with pain rejection and difficult moments the first thing is own it accept it identify with it and come to terms with it when you own it, you are telling yourself the truth. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm going through a breakup now. What next? Yes, it's over. What next? Tell yourself the truth of the situation. Oh, yes, my father just died. What next? Oh, yes, this is the situation I'm currently in right now. Own it. When you own it, that's like the first step you need to own it. Oh, this has happened. Uh -huh. What's the next step? It has happened i've accepted it this is where i am what next and then the next one is do you truly know yourself we're on the journey of getting to know ourselves daily and this is a question for those who really know themselves what do you think is the easiest way to ease your pain do you speak about it do you pray about it do you sing do you cry whatever it is that you do that takes you out of that place is what you should do so if you have to talk to somebody about it if you have to seek counsel whatever it is that you want that you um have gone through for a bit that has shaped your um thinking or whatever it, the, whatever it is that you have done in the past that has helped ease your pain is what you should do now and then the next one is move forward take a step at a time you can crawl you can roll you can the next thing is move forward take a step at a time however if you need to crawl if you need to walk if you need to slow march if you need to roll just move don't just stand in that place okay move get yourself into a shadow um if it's if it's that you have to wake up early and you know just take a bath 
take out your pajamas whatever it is move don't stay there don't stay oh i'm down i'm down and and then life would not wait for you you will come back and realize people have gone we have a new world dispensation now and you are still left behind so pack yourself and move a day at a time don't don't be rushed don't let people or say oh me i got over breakup in two weeks i am not you and so i own my shit and i will take a step at a time for me it is just putting my give myself more activity basically because you will think about those things and when they come because you are occupied a number of times it's a lot easier to deal with but when you're just sitting down and you're just looking at your phone and you're just looking at you post pictures and you're just sulking it would never go away but for those difficult moments you take a step if it's through divorce whatever it is take a step out of it that is the next one and then forgive yourself there are times when now you fuck up you know that oh i actually did what i wasn't supposed to do and this ended forgive yourself if oh maybe you were rude to this person or you you were part of the problem and you're you are, you are realizing that you're busy yourself about it I'm not saying you should not, you know, talk to yourself about it. As I said, own your shit first. Now me fuck up. And then after then, you move. What's the next step? Forgive yourself. Forgive yourself. It's okay. It's okay that you've made that mistake. We are only human. Forgive yourself. And that is not to say you should absorb the person of his or her offense. Like push the entire blame on yourself. No, I'm just saying if you were wrong, own that I was wrong. I need to do better. Or maybe I did talk to yourself you be honest with yourself you know and then the other one is forgive the other person it might not might be hard and it might take 10 years but forgive the other person be on that journey to forgiveness another step that really would help is accept life for what it is the difficult truth now i'm going to share a number of things that um have helped me through life how to accept life challenges because where these things and i i um I got some of the points from TMI podcast KE, um, you know, about on d- difficult life truths. And these are like the truth. This is the life you find yourself. And there's nothing you can do about it. So the first thing is good things happen to bad people and bad things happen to good people. Don't say, oh, I'm a good person. I don't deserve it. Hello. <laughs> Nobody deserve any bad thing. But it happens so good things can happen to you bad things can happen to you either you're good or a bad person it is just life and this is number one number one life hack things happen good or bad to everybody under the sun if you are living under these heavens good and bad things would happen to you and you can literally not do anything about it the second thing is create hope so we can step away from delusional life like most times we create false hope for ourselves and say oh you know everything is going to get better it's going to get better and oh this this." sometimes it doesn't get better i promise you sometimes it doesn't get better sometimes you've broken up with that guy just so that you could date somebody that is worse than him sometimes you've broken up with that guy that abuses you physically only to go and deal with somebody who abuses you emotionally sometimes they say oh when when life shuts a door at you god is opening a bigger one sometimes it's a small window sometimes it's no window at all and it is okay it is part of life if you accept those realities they are tough they are hard but life happens and you move now <laughs> i know this is so much we have a hope that oh yeah the hope is there so that we can it can you know give you some comfort but come out of that world sometimes and look at the reality and you'll see that the grass is not always greener on the other side and sometimes you decide where you stand on that is green that is the greenness of the green grasses i don't know if you get it so another thing is good and great things happen to people that have wronged you this person has just killed somebody dear to you and the person is getting a promotion at the office This person has hurt you so much. You feel like, God, it's going to punish you. But guess what? That person is now going to go on a vacation or get an international award or be promoted in his career or become even the next president. And you're wondering why. But 
it is what it is. You need to accept this hard truth that good things, those promotions that you say, oh, you will never prosper in your life. They will do it. Sometimes it, it doesn't work. Sometimes it, I know Africans and, you know, we are fetish. We believe that if I do you this, sometimes you do and it's no work. It is what it is. And it's not like I have a reason why these things <laughs> are not working the way you want it. But it is what it is. It's difficult, but it's life. Another thing is, focus on yourself and forget your ex. It could be difficult, but you have to focus on yourself and forget your ex-boyfriend and forget your ex-girlfriend and forget that your neighbor that hurt you so much, that your landlord that chased you out of the house and did not, that man, that your father that abandoned you when you were a child. You need to know that I have forgiven you. I need to focus on myself. You have done what you can only do now it's time for me to do what i can do forgive you and when you do when you forgive that person it takes a burden off because that person is sleeping well you are the one that is sleeping and tossing to you, you cannot sleep you're tossing up and down your bed because somebody hurt you that person has moved and left you in that back corner you just need to walk in and get your life back now another thing is not all of us will be famous successful billionaires doctors some of us will be online vendors some of us will be influencers some of us would die before we are 30 some of us will die before we are 25 some of us would not see our children some of us will lose our husbands some of us will have stillbirth some of us will have miscarriages some of us would have accidents some of us will die in plane crashes see these things are what they are and you you just need to accept that even though we are rejecting it's not my portion it's not my portion but when it does happen how do you move not like when you die how do you move on when your partner when you lose somebody you love how do you do if you realize that anybody can die anytime it's going to be a lot easier sometimes you can just be like why me why you but it has happened and you need to move not all of us will become famous not all of us will become Beyonce and Jay-Z. Not all of us will become president. Some of us are going to still be moving in and out of jobs in our late 30s and 40s and not have a good retirement plan. And those things are okay. Am I saying they are God's plan? I don't know. But I'm saying that it is part of life and it happens. We can agree to disagree on this channel. But what I know is all of us cannot become doctors. I went to a secondary school we had, maybe my set were like, 200 people in my set and yesterday when we took my um, family member that attempt, attempted suicide when we took her to the hospital um when we took her to the hospital i met my friend she was our head girl back then in school shout out to you, halima and um she was the one that attended us she was a doctor and what am i a bloody investment gal or a a kayamata seller. Some of us are going to be called kayamata sellers. Some of us are going to be selling earrings and jewelry. Some of us will sell perfumes. Some of us will be housewives. All of us cannot be doctors and lawyers and engineers. It is okay. Okay? It is it is well. <laughs> it's life, but it's okay. Um moving on. We uh, okay, the other one is sometimes it's too late and it's okay to accept you've made a mistake yeah sometimes it's too late this person you wish you had apologized to has died and then this person you wish or you had mended things with you've lost the person's number you've lost contact with the person or the person has moved abroad and you don't get a chance to say sorry you don't get a chance to mend your ways it is okay sometimes it is too late to take decision sometimes it's too late to not take a decision and that is okay that is difficultly okay and then not hmm. rich people are not miserable poor people are not happy there are poor people that are miserable 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 there are rich people that are happy 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 nobody has all these shit together you need to know that nobody has a perfect life everybody have what keeps them up at night but this cliche of oh he has money is not happy is definitely not happy or uh, recently my friend got married and you know we had a fallout and i will not be like oh maybe her marriage is going to break but no her marriage might be like one of the sweetest marriages there is what would i do 
oh did she mock me about her marriage oh definitely she did but what else she she might have the most beautiful marriage i might even get married after her and get a divorce later we don't know we're hoping for the best right that hope is what gives us that zeal to wake up every day but when these things happen realizing that these things are normal life occurrences and it can happen you'll be okay then life is not balanced some people can give birth today and die today and not having no and not, not get to see their child go to primary school university some parents might labor and then just when their child has finally hit the jackpot the child is going to die or they are going to die or something or the child is going to lose their job we've seen people who have put in all their best in their children and then the children get to universities finish up and then die while they are going for service or something and life is not balanced that is why it is called life another thing is we should come to terms with the fact that men would only be men women would only be women men would never breastfeed men will never give birth vaginally men will never um, have to deal with body changes as much as women and it is okay men will never have to see their periods you are the one that would have long stomach stretch marks accepting those things makes life a lot easier so that you're not so angry at this man like why am i i'm not saying it gives the man the right to be insensitive and all of that no that's not what i'm saying i'm saying that this man can be that and it's fine okay calm down you are the one that would have to go through that body change just pray that you have a supportive person through the process and no matter how much a person tries to support you it the support is never enough sorry where it is then most partners in life are lessons and not forever so there are people say that people will say oh the people, the people we are dating now are you sure you're going to end up with them or are you sure your marriages are going to last? There are people who had 10 years courtship and four years down the line after marriage they are done sometimes you cannot explain these things sometimes we 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 you know we, we ignore some things we contribute to those things but they are what they are if maybe you put in your hundred that person might put in just two percent what would you do nothing so sometimes these people that we see or we date how are you even sure the person you're dating right now is going to be your life partner forever you don't know you can break up it can be a broken engagement or you can die on the day of your um engagement or the day of your wedding or after your wedding die these things happen and the more we come to terms with them the easier and the better for each and every one of us and i'm not such a bad person i see good things coming out of things and situations but even when those good things don't come out of it i'm equipped to know that it is i cannot do anything about this thing and i have to live with it simple then your parents are not heroes they are humans your father might probably be cheating on your mother your mother will probably be cheating in fact you might not be your father's legitimate child you might be you might be another person's child that your mother pushed on your father or your father might be a horrible person your mother might be a horrible person it is okay i have come to terms with the fact that my father is an absent father and he doesn't care about me and i'm okay i am okay so sometimes when people say oh i'm breaking off with you mm -hmm. the person will bomb me leave me you who is you when did you come how much do do you understand so these kinds of things when harder things happen and those less difficult things happen it's easier for you to accept them because what's the worst that can happen the worst has already happened who are you you know you don't owe me shit. then another um one is not everyone would like you some people hate you for no good reason you hate some people for no good reason I, mean, I just don't like they've never hurt me they've never offended me but i don't like them and they don't like me and it's simple and it is okay don't hate them all just okay whatever i do you're not impressing me and that's fine and whatever i'm doing i'm not impressing you that's fine you don't have to like everybody because nobody likes you even the best ice cream sellers in the world are not loved by everyone okay so um another one is 
there's always someone better than you i'm sorry but there's always somebody who is prettier than you who has longer hair than you who has a banging body than you and that person did not do surgery and there's somebody who has who sings better than you the only thing is because we are better we see people that are better you learn from them and don't get envious just stay on your lane if your lane is too slow you can speed it up you can get better at your own game but trying to force people to be look the same no we cannot be the same now lie now i have friends that are finer than me that are lighter than me that have longer hair that have slickier skin but here i am i have accepted it and i am moving now that the last one i want everybody to understand is when you find yourself in situations that you cannot control you know this is beyond you allow it go through the process because your experiences would help other people um my experience in life has helped me I, someone told me oh, i'm afraid of you because things don't shake you maybe i've never really had somebody that i've lost people people have died in my presence and you know all of these things but i have can i change it no what would i do live with it learn to live with your mistakes own them move don't dwell on them grow out of it better opportunity to come there might be a light at the end of the tunnel and there might not be Ill, they, in fact the, I, I don't know it might be darkness but just move just just make sure you're not standing there and don't give anybody the gratification that oh i'm vulnerable you hurt me and you're making your, you you keep hurting yourself because somebody else hurt you who is gaining i hope that this helps you with your pain and it might be difficult but it's the truth i hope it helps with your pain and your rejection so the story is um there's this guy i really liked and i, I met him when i was in second when i was in university my 400 level we're not even not, not really talking and then eventually we started talking last year and it has been good you know oh he's nice he's very honest that's one thing i li really like about him he's very honest and then um it has just been there for us um, we, we talk every day we communicate video calls all of that but the relationship did not move forward it was just there we are not friends we are not lovers we are not we're just there and sometimes i'm like help me define this relationship let us define it and he's like you know i don't want to just put a tag on it da, 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 da. he wasn't afraid of he was um say he, he said he was coming from a relationship i was not ready to just delve into one directly and i totally understand because i was there while he was in that relationship so um, recently he just told me he's gotten his visa he's relocating out of the country he's going to the UK and that's it that's it that that is my L like girl I have I don't have you in mind I have made my plans I have left you here deal with you focus on your focus focus on yourself what am I going to do I was hurt but there are things you cannot change you cannot force somebody to like you and i really liked him to be honest but i can't force him to like me i can't i can't force him to you know so i move what what next i am next my life is next and i move and that's that's like that's like the best thing that can happen to you telling yourself the truth don't ever lie to yourself you can come out and say everything is fine when you go back into your closet hug your pillow and wail if you need to be truthful to yourself at all times and you'll find out that dealing with pain would be a lot easier this might be a very boring video i might not watch it so at this point but i just decided to share my 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 little with people who are going through a lot because sometimes when you bottle those pain and emotions the person that tried to commit suicide yesterday was because she bottled a lot of pains and you know sometimes like is it because of this thing you want to kill yourself but no it has been like this like this like this and it's so much she cannot even explain it to you you would never understand it suicide is not an option is not it shouldn't be your choice that's why deal with the pain as it comes take one step at a time and i promise you you look back and oh it's gone i'll be wondering why was i so mad about that situation but you've moved i hope this helps a few people 
I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.